Hello to those who would like to solve the Rubik's Cube. Today I will be teaching you how. I did not invent this method. I'm not sure who invented this method, but it's called layer by layer method or beginner's method. Alright, let's just get started. Okay, so uh, the first thing you're going to need is a Rubik's Cube. I do not currently have a working Rubik's brand, so I'm just going to use this cube. It, it, it's exactly the same, except it turns a little bit better. Um, but it, it, it's the same uh, design. It works the same. Uh, it, it's just a different brand. Uh, so, yeah, um, the first thing you're going to want to do is scramble it up. And then once you have your cube sufficiently scrambled, you can start. Now, the first step to solving a Rubik's Cube is building what's called the cross. So that basically means you have this plus sign here. And then you can see that there are two on each of these sides. So how you do that is you find one of these edge pieces like this. And you place it in so that it creates this line, but this isn't lined up, so you, what you want to do is you turn the front, which will turn this piece here until it lines up with another center like that. And then after that, um, you'll want to have um, pieces on the top layer, um, so opposite of the center that you're solving. And you can turn it so that these two line up. You can see that white is next to yellow instead of white again, and then you can just turn that to bring it down. Another thing you can do is if you have a piece like this, then you can rotate it in like that, but that's the wrong place, so you have to rotate the bottom. You can see that right here, this piece here has to line with, up with that, so you can rotate that there, which empties up the space so that you can put that piece in, and then if you turn it back, you can see it lines up. Uh, if you um, do it incorrectly, you can see that. Um, you can just turn it around, and then it's on the top, so you can just rotate it and insert it in. How I found four. Um, there's another case which is like that, um, uh, where you just want to um, put it so that um, the s space where you want to put it is either on the left or the right, and then you turn the front side so that um, these two line up and are the same color. Um, you'll turn it the other way to make these two the same color if that's the case you have. And then just rotate it down um, which will uh, put these two in but you'll see that it knocks those two out um, but you can just put those back in. So another case you can have is this uh, in which case you'll just turn the front twice and then you can insert it in like this um, like I showed you in the previous clip, and then uh, you have your cross solved. Alright, next up is the corners. What you want to do is you want to find a corner and insert it in, and you'll see that this green piece in this case here will line up with the center, and this piece here will also line up with the center. This will also line up with the center because it's a white piece. And if it's not, then you're in the wrong corner, and you can just um, turn it back and then turn the top so that you can put it in a different corner. But in this case, this is the correct corner. Um, and so what you want to do is you want to turn it in like this. Uh, that will knock that piece out, but you'll, you don't want to worry about that yet. And now you can turn this piece back so that when putting this piece back in, um, it won't actually affect this. Um, if you turn it the wrong way um, and turn that, you'll see that these pieces will rotate. You don't want that. So you want to turn it the other way and then turn the top back and then you can put it back in. And so you want to kind of do the same thing. Um, uh, if it's facing up like this, then you want to do the right side, the upside, the right side backwards and the upside backwards twice and then you'll be in a place where you can put it in and then do the same thing. Another thing is uh, if you have it inside here then you can do the same thing once and that'll put it in there. Um, 
and then you can uh, insert all your pieces like that till you're to this stage. Now this stage is when you need to really learn your notation and algorithms. Okay, so this. So when I say a letter, it's referring to a face, and if I say prime, that means um, that you should turn it counterclockwise. If I say, say two, then you should turn it 180 degrees, and if I say nothing after that, and just go on to the next move, then you rotate it clockwise. Um, uh, so the top layer, the top side is U, U for up, the bottom side is D for down. Um, the front side is F for front. The left side is L for left. The right side is R for right. And then the back side is B for back. Although I, you won't need to use that for this method. So the first algorithm that you'll need to know goes like this. U, R, U prime, R prime, F, R prime, F prime, R. And so what that basically does is it takes a piece from right here and puts it in there. Um, so it's basically like doing that. Um, it's basically like when you have this side done and nothing else. Um, it's like doing that. Um, but none of these three pieces move. Um, so you can see that if I do that here, uh, then it, it will be in um there is also the other case which is like that which is the mirror image where you have to rotate this piece to go in like that to put it in and so you'll have to do u prime l prime u l u f u prime f prime and then from there, um, you can keep doing that until all your edges are solved. There is one other special case I want to go over, which is when these pieces are flipped. You can just do the algorithm, and then that will knock out the piece so that you can then insert it again. Now on to the last layer, which is definitely the hardest. Um, so the first algorithm you'll need to learn is... F R U R prime U prime F prime. And now if you have it like this L shape here, then um just do it from any direction and you'll get this line. If you have the line, then do it again um, when the line is sideways and uh you'll get to this uh, yellow cross. You'll notice that it won't be solved on these pieces, uh, which is fine, we'll get to that. Um, and finally, if you have this case, then do it once, and you should get to this L, which you can then turn into a line. For the next part, um, you'll need to know another algorithm, which is R U R prime U, R U two R prime. So what that will do is it will cycle these three edges. Um, so what you want to do is rotate the top layer until you find an edge that lines up. And you'll see that there are no other edges that line up. And then you'll have to do that move uh, one to two times until you get them to line up like that. Another case is if you have two opposite each other, then hold it like this and do it. And then from there, you can do a U move and turn it around and you'll can and you can see that this is in front and you can then cycle those with the same algorithm and it'll get to this where all these are lined up. All right then. Up next is the final step. And you'll have to learn another algorithm, which is U R U prime L prime U R prime U prime L. What that will do is it will cycle these three corners, but it will also rotate them, so it'll like switch them around, um, and it won't do anything to this corner. So you'll have either zero, one, or four corners lined up. 
who have zero corners lined up, then just do the algorithm at any point, and you'll uh, get to having one corner lined up. If there are one corner lined up, then you'll have to hold the corner um, in front on the right and do the algorithm. Now, if there are all four corners lined up, then you're done with this stage. So you can see I have it on the right. Now I'm going to do the algorithm. U, R, U prime, L prime, U prime, R prime, U prime, L. And now you can see that didn't solve them, so I'll have to do it again. U, R, U prime, L prime, U, R prime, U prime, L. And now you can see they're solved. All right, now on to the last step. And for this step, I'm going to flip the cube upside down, like so. And so you'll hold it so that you'll have a wrongly rotated corner on the bottom right. And then you'll do R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime. And just repeat that R, U, R prime, U prime until it's lined up. And you have to remember the last U prime. If you do not remember the last U prime, then the whole thing will be messed up, so you'll have to remember that. And then uh, you'll move on to the next corner. But do not rotate the... You'll have to do a D move to get this piece here, and then you can continue with R U R prime U prime. You'll keep doing that until all of the edges are lined up, and then you can see that you just have to turn the bottom layer back and your cube is solved. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, that's about it from me.